Hi guys, Saiz here back with another interesting and most important video and today I came with latest updated PIF fix files. So today I am going to tell you how to fix strong integrity or in other words, I am going to tell you how to fix device is not certified issue. Okay. So before move on the process, I want to tell you some important tips, which is talking about first tip. If you follow my process and in your case, the strong integrity is not going to pass, but uh, the basic integrity and device integrity is passed then it is okay don't worry you can use lot of applications near to near all banking applications not all but all near to near all application working fine because it checks device integrity device integrity means your device is not certified or certified okay if you pass device integrity that means your device is certified so you can use near to near all the applications on your android device second important tip uh, if you follow my process and no one integrity is going to pass especially if device integrity is not going to pass then you can change your custom rom or flash any latest updated security patch custom roms it will help you to fix device integrity or strong integrity okay talking about third point and if you think this video helps you to fix root detection problem on banking apps or any apps then you are wrong this video is fixing for device is not certified issue or strong integrity okay for fixing root detection problem on banking apps or any apps you need to uh, follow another method soon i will upload video on that topic so please subscribe and press the bell icon okay so let's begin the process so guys first of all you need to download some important modules and application as we can see here it is the modules and application i will provide link on description so you can easily download this module so the updated module which is came that is play integrity fix version 4 okay so as we can see here it is the two different authors for this play integrity fix module okay well, both are different type of fork module as we can see here it is one author module and here it is different author module as we can see both working fine but better if you go with this author module as we can see here it is that this author module download this author module okay simply scroll down just click on latest so presently version 4.2 is latest okay in your when you going to download maybe the different version is came so download latest version only okay download it then uh, first of all you need to install ksu web ui application install it but don't open just install it okay now let's move on the flashing process of modules okay so you need to flash sequence wise so first module which is you need to flash that is zygisk next simply flash this module and reboot your device once okay after that follow sequence which i am going to tell you of flashing modules so first module which we need to install that is play integrity fix this fork module flash it go back next module uh, tricky store then again go back then next module which is tricky store add-on okay after flashing this all modules just reboot your device as we can see all modules flash successful now i'm going to reboot my device in your case if you are using any root method for example i I'm showing on kernel SEO, right? But same method you can follow on Magisk or a patch. But note one point, if you are a Magisk user, then disable this Zygisk option on Magisk settings. After that, flash Zygisk next module, reboot your device once. After that, follow the sequence which I told on kernel SU section, right? So follow same method, follow same sequence of flashing of these modules. Okay. So then reboot your device. That's it. Okay. Now what is next step? Wait, my device is going to boot. Okay. My device is booted successfully. Now I'm going to unlock my device. 
now what is next step so simply once open this ksu okay but before going to open ksu you need to give the root permission to ksu application okay simply open kernel su application and here you need to search ksu and give the root grant permission to ksu web ui application okay on magisk simply when you going to open ksu then automatically one pop up is schemes just click on grant permission to ksu okay as we can see here it is all modules installed successful without any issue now open ksu web ui application okay now we need to click on tricky store okay after click on tricky store click on this three lines okay then click on select all then click on deselect unnecessary now click on set valid key box and as we can see here it is new key box is present that's why it says valid key box is successful right okay in previous video it so it shows no valid key box found okay so that issue is fixed now click on set security now click on get security date okay patch date then when it's fetching after fetching done click on save okay that's it as we can see now click on save button on the bottom okay okay after that that's it go back okay now open play integrity api checker and test it as we can see three checks successfully ticked okay maybe in your case the strong integrity is not going to check so on that situation simply open ksu web and you need to click on play integrity fix uh, inject this section click on here then click on advanced option then click on spoof provider enable this toggle spoof provider toggle enable this spoof provider toggle after that click on fetch pif.json okay after click on it as we can see here it is some process is going to happen after that it shows done that's it now open play integrity api checker application and again check it okay now the strong integrity passed okay and the strong integrity is not passed on some stock rooms so on that situation you need to enable that spoof provider option okay now here it is as we can see the device is certified successfully now you are good to go to use all applications no crashing issue is schemes on your device so this is the video if you like this video then please like and share this video see you in the next video and in next video i came i came with um banking apps fix okay how to fix banking apps and other apps which detect root okay so on that video i will tell you how to fix root detection problem on banking apps or any apps okay so bye bye goodbye love you guys